The field and inductance of a spherical coil illustrate the model of a distributed surface current density and the associated Laplacian fields. This is a coil wound on the surface of a sphere. Here are the terminals. A current through the wire results in a magnetic field inside the sphere that is uniform. Outside, the field is that of a dipole. Because these fields are so simple, this flux ball example is a valuable resource for dealing with other situations and for getting basic notions straight, such as how to compute the inductance of a coil, every turn of which links a different amount of magnetic flux. A Hall magnetometer with a transverse probe make it possible to probe the field. We'll use the oscilloscope to show the output of the Hall probe. The upper trace is the coil current. The lower is from the probe. Here at the North Pole, the magnetic flux density should be perpendicular to the sphere surface. The probe detects the field perpendicular to its flat face. So we can see that the field is perpendicular to the surface of the North Pole. At the equator, the field is tangential and in the opposite direction. By watching the phase of the lower trace, we can see that the field at the South Pole is in the same direction as at the North Pole. The phase is the same at the two poles, so the field is upward at both poles. Watch the vertical component of the field as we go from the north to the south. We have a hole from the south to the north pole. We can insert another probe. By contrast with our transverse probe, this axial probe measures the magnetic field along its axis. The magnetic flux density inside the sphere is essentially uniform. Outside, it has the decay of a dipole. Inside, we measure 5.4 Gauss RMS. The flux ball is a classic example where the fields are simple to represent. A uniform field inside and a dipole field outside. And yet interesting enough to give insight into more complex situations. For example, the vertical field at the North Pole should be twice what it is at the equator.